okay you are welcome in online class and in online class a uh, student of the class 10th uh, you are now you are going to be given the some topic related to the chapter the environment our environment the chapter number given perhaps 15 and this chapter is related to the environment as we know that environment word is a very comprehensive word it is not a very concise the word environment is made from the two words environment and meant the environment in the sense of the collective definition we can give the environment is that aggregation of the yeah, plants and animals biotic and a biotic living organism by biotic and and abiotic components in a particular region so they are called the yeah, our environment so our environment is most important for all the living organism and uh, it is also useful for all the plants as well as the animals so because it is the telling that it is component of it has the two component biotic and a biotic component a biotic component biotic component so the when we collectively add these two all things biotic and a biotic component in environment generally it becomes the broader concept broader the concept and broader reason is considered to be it now the environment is the we have to the made of the two words environment now one thing is that why we are reading this chapter what is the main motto of this chapter to be introduced into the class 10 now the first topic according to ncert when you will go through the book and the chapter then it is written that what happens to the environment when we add the waste into the environment as we know that environment is the place where the all living organisms whether plants and animals live suitably they acquire the different uh, the yeah, gases different uh, resources uh, for their survival as for example if uh, we take an example of us and the plant they both are the living organism in a particular environment first we talk about the plants the plant so what the plant is the also component of the our environment biotic component in the biotic component the outside of the plant body there are the oxygen there are in the downwards there are the soil in the soil there are different minerals there are different minerals so these all minerals as well as they have the also compound carbon dioxide so these carbon dioxide water from the soil these are being absorbed and in the presence of the sunlight on the surface of the leaf the foods are made so these foods are made by the process of photosynthesis by the combination of the abiotic factor water as well as the co2 and the chlorophyll and there are 16 nutritive elements that are needed for the proper growth of a plant so these all minerals are taken and by the photosynthesis process the food are made so when food are made so the plants are the autotrophs because they are making the foods for the up for itself and it is also giving the food to the different uh, consumers like animals as we are the animals so now what we see that plant is also the biotic component of the environment it provide us the different food food in the form of the fruit cereals and the nuts etc and they also release the oxygen into the environment that is the abiotic component and this abiotic component the oxygen is being taken by the living organism like human being they inhale the oxygen 
they inhale the oxygen and this survive their respiration process they complete and by the respiration process they uh, break down the glucose as we the break down the glucose and we get the energy so what we say that when the environment is too healthy all the carbon dioxide water as well as the oxygen level nitrogen level these all are in the proper amount is in a permissible amount then the environment uh, can work smoothly and the all living organism into the environment they can live suitably their health cannot be upset their body cannot be harmed so they can live in a very smooth and healthy way but now the topic is that when we add some waste then what happens to the environment the very simple answer of is this that when we add the wastes to environment they can pollute the environment they can alter the concentration of the different gases like oxygen which is in 21% nitrogen in is in the 78% and the carbon dioxide that is in the 0.04% so what will happen their amount and their numbers will increase and this increment will upset the health of the animals like human being as well as the plants and the different aquatic terrestrial and the xerophytic animals life will be on the peril will be on the dangerous situation so as for example simply we are going to tell you about that if we are not a becoming alert and there are a lot of emission of emission emission of co2 and after the co carbon monoxide and so2 that is released from the automobile exhaust and the carbon monoxide from the factories and the carbon dioxide from the also from factories so these will emit to the air and they will cause the air pollution and so air pollution will be very fatal for the life of the human being and the different living organism as for example if i take the only one example so2 when the so2 go up to the sky and this so2 mix with the rain water so2 react with the rain water and ultimately they form the h2so4 sulfuric acid h2 h2so4 h2so4 so this is the acidic rain so this acidic rain can cause harm to us they can cause harm acidic rain h2so4 they can cause the yeah, damage of the building monuments and the life of the plants and the animals so what we have learned the only one we have released the sulfur dioxide we have added the waste to the environment then cause it to the acid rain the first example second example is that if we weigh the plastic bottles plastic bottles plastic bottles asbestos asbestos into the environment asbestos if we add the asbestos plastic and the different the non biodegradable substance non biodegradable substance bio degradable degradable substance substance into the environment so the microorganism has no power to decompose them and if they are not decomposed they will become a heap into the environment and that will ultimately lead to the upset of the environment they will uh, release the harmful ions into the water soil and as well as these will be emitted to the atmosphere and this will upset the air water and as well as the land so when we add the waste material sometimes the doctor they also throw the plaster of or of paris which are useful for joining the bones and these are the different chemicals discharged from the 
factories into the water, emission of the harmful poisonous gases to the environment. This led to the toxic city into the environment. People are not able to inhale the pure oxygen and ultimately what happens? Our land, water and air are fully altered and that leads to the fatal condition that is called the pollution. And now the pollution has been the major concern of the world. And this major...